Hi, I'm Joe Finsternis, and tonight I'm going to be talking to you about a movie called Live Feed. Now, this film is about a group of American tourists who go to some undisclosed Asian country, and it's hostile, except it takes place in some Asian country. Now, I don't like to bash films right off the bat, but Live Feed is a piece of shit. Um, first of all, I usually talk about foreign languages and subtitles, despite the fact that this film supposedly takes place in a foreign country, everyone speaks English, even the Asian characters, when they're talking to each other, are speaking in perfect English, and usually I don't mind this sort of thing too much. I've seen it happen in films like Imprint and Frankenstein's Army, and I was okay with it because I like those movies. Um... Right at the beginning, the main titles of this film are boring as hell. It starts off where they're showing these credits over some photographs that I guess are supposed to be depicting some grisly torture scenes. I don't really fucking know, because they were so blurry that it was hard to make out what was going on most of the time. Um, I might as well have watched Inside without my glasses on. Wow, this is really graphic. I think. There sure is a lot of red stuff on screen. I don't know what it is, but it might be blood. <laughs> you know. Uh, it's badly edited, too. There's one moment where they go straight from one scene to the shot of a guy's face. It's apparent that he's just had the crap beaten out of him, and he's spitting out teeth, and then it just goes to some strippers. And they offer context for... The guy who was getting beat up about a minute after the fact, but even during the footage of the strippers, they could have at least had some sound effects playing in the background like, ow, 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 I, I really wish you'd stop that, ow. I mean, that would have been less stupid than the way that they handled it. The dialogue is terrible too. There's not much that I can really say about it because I literally can't remember anything that was said in this movie. Even when this crime lord was beating up this guy, um, there was some dialogue between them, and I don't know why he was getting beat up, because I don't remember anything that they were saying. My biggest sort of um, criticism of this movie is that it's racist as shit, and I'm not usually one to pull out the race card. There are a few films out there, which have been frowned upon for how they depict certain ethnic groups, and I've been forgiving of it because I am an ignorant American white man. But at the very beginning of this film, there's an Asian food vendor who kills a dog with a meat cleaver right in front of the main characters. Uh, moving on. To this movie's credit, I will admit that it had some pretty cool death scenes, like there's this one bit where a woman has a tube forced into her mouth and it gets taped around, and then the bad guys send this snake slithering through the tube, and you know, that was one point that kind of got me, but I've seen videos of people in real life getting badly injured, and those got me too, but it didn't make them cinematic masterpieces. <sighs> After a while, you know, I take notes on these movies just to remember kind of the important things that I want to bring up, and I wrote down a lot of criticisms that I haven't even mentioned in this video because they're not really worth giving much attention to, but I ended up filling out this whole card long before the movie was over, so once it got to that point, I just stopped giving a shit and I put the movie on mute and played some Halloween party music over it to make it more bearable, and it did make the experience much more enjoyable. There's nothing quite like watching a terrible movie when Creature Feature provides the soundtrack. And yeah, you could make the argument that I wasn't really watching this movie if I had muted for a good amount of running time, but I seriously doubt that there would have been a point in this if I had watched the whole thing with sound where I would have been like, you know, on top of having some really cool torture scenes, this movie may have been badly acted and poorly edited and had just terrible fucking dialogue, 
but there was this one monologue near the end that really saved it for me. I'm gonna give it five stars. No, that's not gonna fucking happen. I don't even give movies ratings. I recommend them. And I think it's pretty obvious by now that I do not recommend live feed. So that's pretty much all I've got to say about it. I hope you all have a good one.